love welcome back to my channel for this video i want to be reviewing this vanity mirror that i found on amazon it had a lot a lot of reviews but it didn't have very many videos on it so i wanted to kind of do a little bit of an overview and just show you how it works a lot of the time before i buy anything i like to watch videos read reviews and just see how some of these things are working for other people so that's why i wanted to come on here and show you guys this mirror now it's nothing like out of this world however if you have been looking for a mirror like a vanity mirror with lights then let me show you this one and then you can decide if this is what you've been looking for or if it doesn't work for you anyway i am in the process of making over my whole like vanity makeup workstation area i wanted to put a whole new vanity set up together because i just I just feel like I need it. I need the space. I definitely need the storage. So that's gonna be in another video though, making over or putting together a vanity. But anyway, for this video, let's just go ahead and get started. I need to show you guys what I got from Amazon. This is the mirror. This is a, like a coffee tumbler or travel mug. I'm not sure what to call it. This, I promise I don't have a problem, but I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open the mirror and then show you guys what it looks like. I should probably get an actual box cutter, but this will do. This is what it looks like, obviously. It was in that box. It did come with like some foam. I'm assuming to keep it very protected. It does come with the light bulbs already installed, which I've seen other mirrors that you install your own light bulbs. So this can be kind of bad if you break them. Because I don't think you are able to replace them. So not really sure how that works. The mirror itself doesn't feel flimsy at all if anything it's actually quite heavy it does come with three settings right here because it is kind of like a touch screen i guess it doesn't come with anything other than the mirror and i'm not sure what this is oh this is the uh, cord to plug it in because it's not battery operated which can sometimes be a good thing because you don't always want to be charging them or having to buy batteries so this is obviously a better option. And then it did come with a magnifying glass, which can be good if you're doing your eyebrows. Before we get started, I wanna show you what my vanity area looks like. Now, as you can see, nothing absolutely wrong with it. However, it is just too short this way. So in an upcoming video, I am going to be putting together a whole new vanity desk area with storage and i will show you guys that in that video but this video is all about this mirror right here i think this was 55 oh my god that was a mouthful of saliva i think this mirror was like 55 or 60 dollars i'm not quite sure i was using this one from oh my god look at the dirty hand fingerprints i was using this one also from amazon and I've used it for a year, maybe two years, I can't remember. However, I mean, look at the size difference. I am a huge skincare fanatic. And I just kind of like to see my face while I'm applying some of these products. And it was kind of hard to do so with this little tiny one. Not to mention that I had to kind of crouch down. And also because it's not very tall. Which, this is perfect if you don't really care about the size or the height of your mirror. I still use this, but I use it for other purposes. However, I mean, you could see why I had to make an upgrade. Okay, so, as you can see, this mirror does swivels. It can go pretty far back, as you can see here. I mean, you could pretty much go the whole way. But you may not want to because it does have this cable that stops you from going all the way around. But I don't know why you would want to do that in the first place. 
So that's one of the features that it does have, which I do enjoy because sometimes I want to see my face in a different angle and I'm able to do that with the swivel. This is a little trippy looking at the camera through the mirror and then looking at me through the camera looking at the mirror. As you can see, it does have these light bulbs right here. On the side, there is five, and then at the top, there are four. So these are quite bright. However, I don't think that you can replace these. I think there are some that come with the light bulb separately and you kind of just attach them, but this specific one does not have that feature. So, these are the light bulbs. They feel pretty heavy duty. It doesn't feel like the kind of glass that would break very easily. But if you break one, I think keep in mind that you may not be able to replace it. So let me show you how they actually work. It has these three buttons towards the bottom of the mirror. So M is to change the light color and P is to adjust the brightness of each tone. And obviously, we all know what the on and off button looks like. So, if I press that right there, it turns it on. Actually, let me put that one right there. As you can see, that turns it on and off. If I push M, it changes it to warm light. And then, I don't know if this is daylight or bright light, blue light. I'm pretty sure it's daylight. And that's just regular. I personally like it on just the regular one. And then, if you push P, it ad adjusts the brightness. So I'll push P again and, and just see how the lights are going to get brighter. So as you can see right here, it's quite bright. So that's what it looks like with the brightest setting. Now let me bring it down a little bit. And that's a low setting. Let me go ahead and change the light. So this is very warm, which I do usually prefer in the house, but not when I am doing my makeup or applying my skincare. I'm not a huge fan. I'm either a fan of just regular or the warm tone light, which would be this one. This one's probably my favorite just because it looks more natural. But those are the three settings, or the three light settings. Here's another feature that I actually like, is that the bottom has this plasticky styrofoam underneath so that you don't scratch your table. And I personally love this because I noticed that I have been moving the mirror back and forth quite often, and obviously I don't want it to be scratching my desk and I do like that it has this little space right here that I can use to put some of my stuff on so for example if I have like my powder that I want to keep there I can put that there if I have my blush or my bronzer I mean I can display items I think that is super cute and not to mention that every time I move it back and forth the items are sliding everywhere so just look they stay in place, which I love that because I have been able to keep all of my daily makeup products on here without having them go anywhere. So in my opinion, this is quite handy. In width, it measures 12 inches. And then from the very top, from the very top to the very bottom, it measures 19 inches. So it's quite big and it's honestly the perfect size for doing your makeup and your skincare and just pretty much whatever else you want to do. Oh, and another thing is it did come with another little mirror that is very, I know this isn't the right word, but I want to say zoomed in. Quite easy to just attach it on there. And it's quite as easily to remove it. And you don't have to use this on this mirror. You can use this in your bathroom if you'd like. I like to do this whenever I'm doing my eyebrows, so if you think that this is something that you would find very useful and it would come in handy and you're in the market for, I would definitely recommend this one. Now, I'm not telling you go out there and buy this, like you don't need this. This is not a necessity, this is more of a want. So I would say if you want something like this, then go ahead and go buy it. But again, you don't need this. 
and I think that's it for this video so let's wrap up okay well now that you have seen the review about this mirror let me know if you end up purchasing it and definitely send me pictures because I always like to see how people put things together because it inspires me and I am just a nosy Nancy sometimes and I just kind of want to see how other people have their stuff and their items stored or displayed so if you do get this mirror please send me a picture over on Instagram thank you so much for watching this video it really means a lot that you take time out of your busy day to come on here and just spend a little bit of time with me here on my channel and I hope that you keep coming back so please subscribe and follow me over on Instagram but I hope you have a wonderful marvelous day and like I said I have a couple of DIYs coming up so please make sure you come back so have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video have a good one bye